Good morning, YouTube. It's that time of year. It's time to treat for Varroa mites. Um, I'm going to do this the way that I've seen a lot of people do it. I've watched a lot of videos. I've been kind of studying this all summer. And then back in the spring, I checked it out when I was kind of learning about some of this. I'm going to fog with the fogger. Uh, you can get one of these foggers. I got this at Menards. They're like $50. This, to me, looks like the best, easiest, and simplest way to fog for varroa mites. Um, you want to do, I'm going to do four treatments. Some people say you could do three. You want to do it once a week, once every five to seven days. I'm going to start, today is Sunday, and I'm going to just do it every Sunday for four, for four weeks just to make sure. You want to get rid of your varroa mites. The honey supers were pulled off. You don't want to treat for varroa when your supers are on. You don't want that getting up into the honey. Um, supers are off. Those little mites can get inside your can get inside the eggs, can get on your bees, and they can cause a whole lot of problems. Um, if they're in the cap brood already, you can't get them out of there. But once the bees hatch, uh, this treatment will make sure you get rid of the you'll get rid of them. And this is really simple. Um, I got myself a little scale. The formula for this is 25 grams. You get a silic acid. I bought this on eBay. I bought all, well, not the liquor, I didn't buy it on eBay, but this I bought on eBay, I forget how much it was, but if you look it up, it's there, um, it's everywhere, and this is a, uh, what is this, a five pound, five pound bag, this will last like forever, you need 25 grams of this, Everclear, obviously you can buy this in the liquor store, it's 100 milliliters, I just got this little jar at Walmart, it's a measuring jar, it's got milliliters on it. Um, what else has it got? It's got you'll, you'll find them in the in the in the uh, grocery area. It's got milliliters. It's got tablespoons. It's a good measuring cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this. I ain't going to drink it, but you want to measure out 100 milliliters, which is right there. Measure out 100 milliliters. And what you want to do. <coughs> excuse me, is warm this. You want to warm this so you can dissolve, so you can dis dissolve the acylic acid. Um, so I'm just going to nuke it. Why I'm nuking it, you want to get, you want to boil it. You want to just get it warm. I'm just going to warm it and then I'll measure out the acylic acid. I'm just going to microwave it for, I don't know, let's try 30 seconds. We'll see how that goes. The scale, you can buy these little scales, these little measuring scales and they weigh you can measure in grams, ounces, it goes grams, ounces, I'm not sure what some of this other stuff is, but um, grams and ounces. You, you can, like I said, you can buy these on eBay, I bought this, it was like two or three dollars. Um, I got a little plastic cut, little paper cup, just going to zero it out, get it back to grams, zero it out, and then just measure out. Now, you don't want to breathe this stuff in. This is all natural. This will not hurt your bees, um, but you still don't want to breathe it in. I'm just going to measure out 25 grams. Like I said, you buy a jar of this, this will last forever. Or a bag of this will last forever. That's 16, 20, we're almost there. 26.8, take a little bit out. 25.8, I... I don't think you got to be exactly right on the money, but I'm going to be, just to make sure. All right, 20, 25.3. So that's close enough. Seal this back up. Like I said, you don't want to breathe any of this stuff in. So, And what you want to do is when you get your fogger, you want to take the plastic container that comes with it off. And what we use is the little, little canning jars. This is 100, actually I could have put the middle, I could have put it right in there, it's 100 milliliters. Um, just use the canning jar. That'll screw right onto the, that'll screw right onto it. Let's see if this is ready. It's warm. So we're going to take this, we're going to dump it in here, dump it, dump it in there, and just stir it. Just let it dissolve. And then I'm going to let it cool off. You don't want to boil it. I've seen some people, you know, you can take a pot of hot water and set it in there. Um, I actually probably should double this dose because I'm not sure how far this is going to go. Uh, maybe I'll just do one for right now. 
So that's pretty much it. Take this, screw it on your fogger, take it out to your hive. I'm going to do a video on that when I go to actually fog the hive. So um, that's back at zero. Yeah, these, these little scales are nice. Like I said, this thing was probably 2 or $3 on eBay. You could find them free shipping. It's great. Uh, the acylic acid, that's all over eBay. It comes out of Florida. There's only, there's only one company that makes that. This is all natural. Some people, I want to say you could use mineral oil. You can research that. I'm just going to do the acylic acid. It seems like the, mo the most popular thing. It's the simplest. Um, there are other types of ways you could do it. There's a, I forget what it's called. It's like a rod that you can hook to two battery cables. You put the acylic acid on there, let it heat up, and it'll steam and go through the hive. This, to me, is just the easiest. So this will get screwed onto the bottom of the, onto the, bottom of the fogger. Light the fogger. Like I said, when I go outside and do this later, I'll do another video on it. But this is really simple. These Burgess fogger, foggers, I got this at Menards. It was like $48, $49. They might even be on sale now because it's almost fall. So um, real simple. The Everclear, you can, obviously you can find that in the liquor store. This was like $12. Um, but this should last. I'll be curious to see how far. I got four hives I'm going to treat, and we'll see how far it goes. Um, so that's it. So hopefully you learned something from this. Hopefully you like this idea. There's a few other ideas out there. This is just the way I'm going to do it. Um, I just think this is going to be the simplest. It literally takes five seconds of hive. You just go in there and spray it once, spray it twice. When you see it start to come through the top of the hive, you're done. Um, but like I said, I'll, when I get out there later, I'll do a video on it. So anyways, YouTube, uh, hopefully you liked the video. Please subscribe. There's a little bell next to the subscribe button. Click on the bell. You'll get notifications every time I make a video. Give me a thumbs up. That works out good, too. Uh, the more thumbs up I get, as uh, the Walls B-Man would say, I get a blue ribbon. Tim Durham. I like Tim Durham. He's got a lot of good videos. You should watch his stuff, too. He says he would say, I want a blue ribbon. So anyways, until next time, YouTube, we'll talk to you. Bye.